Hello, hello, how are you doing today? So I'm going to be uh, supervising and checking and showing along with this song so I can finish before this year. So let's listen a little bit. You are free to part. This is what I have so far, and I'm going to be trying to finish. So, <laughs> stick around, and let's roll the intro. So, here, Jose Velez from jvcreationstudio.com. Remember, if you are new here... Subscribe, hit the bell for notification. Let me know some comment. Uh, this is live, so if you want to be here the next live, remember to hit the bell so you can be notified when I'm going live. And <coughs> I have a lot of tutorials about mixing and everything, but let's roll and let's see what's going on with this song so we can finish. <laughs> So before I start checking everything, I'm going to start with the drum, the bass, and checking what I have and, and what do I have to change. It's almost, you know, I'm getting close, but I have to supervise every note. Let's go and check the vocal and let's put some the S -er. So the S is less. So let's check out. Let's, I have a lot of S here, so I'm going to come over here and play normally start with the bass and the drum but i want to uh, do the vocal the sl and then start from the beginning and using studio one i'll also use a reason so here this is studio one but when i double click here in the effects I have Resong in the rack and this is what I have so far, the EQ for the vocal. The compressor is, is compressing a lot because if I, uh, let's bypass this so you can hear the difference. I'm going to bypass the compressor and let's play from here with our compressor. If I raise the vocal, then it's going to be too loud and the dynamics going up and down. That's, that's why you need compressor because it's making those peak louds and low more consistent. So it's even those peak and then you can raise the overall level to match with this knob gain or whatever compression you have. Just make sure that you have a output gain or a rise gain that you can, uh, because you're losing in the compressor. Mm -hmm. There you go. So I'm moving here to have the blade port on here. Here we go. <laughs> Now the compressor. Along the way, I'm the true and love. Here I am, waiting for you. 
hospedado. On. If I put the game down, so you know, because I'm losing. So I need to put that on. But what I need is the deesser right now. So let's put the deesser over here. So I have the EQ compressor effects. Now I'm gonna put the deesser over here, and we're gonna listen a lot. So let's listen. I shall run. But there, I don't have much S, so let's listen to it all. See the reduction? This is the default preset. It's in D5 and you see here B, S, the zero one. But I can see because I have it in 2K. 6 dB reduction, so you can see when this is lining up, is reduction in the S in the 2K. But 2K is over here, the S's are more in the 6, so I'm gonna change it to the 6 around here. Listen to the choice of and he will set you free. So it's cutting dots, S's at the end. Choose <laughs> all of that. So that's fine. So now that I have the DSR, and this is the one that is in the rack. Uh, from silly uh, game, which is yeah, from silly. This is a package. Silly leveler, silly game, the SR. Uh, you can find it on the rack extension on the propeller horn if you have reason. If no, now Studio One have the on the SR now the, if you have the new version. I'm still in version five, but that's okay. That's what I need. So now I'm gonna style all over and I'm gonna mute the Vulcan. Couple of takes, but this is the final take that I'm uh, checking. And if you missed my other live stream, where I was uh, recording and uh, tuning the Vulcan, I'm gonna make a playlist so you can have all of this together. <coughs> so let's start now. And remember, if you're watching the replay, leave some comments so I can keep doing these videos. So I'm gonna do a drum solo and the bass and acoustic guitar. And here we go. I was wondering, I have a couple of more mute. Now I have the entire drums. Oh, I forgot, this was Sammy Penteado in the drum, and in the guitar was Adriano Penteado. I was then doing everything else, piano, vocal, bass, strings, uh, um, they were helping me with the guitars. He did the acoustic guitar and the electric guitar, the other Pantiano, which is my great friend. And Sammy Pantiano was using my drum, my electric drum with a DT drum too. I also have a video, so check out the playlist. This 
is the acoustic guitar we did two so we can pan one to the right one to the left and the bass here little by little I'm gonna be adding more the guitar see it doesn't have anything here Here, the guitar. So I have the guitar. This is the guitar. It's only an EQ and a type of compressor. It's a leveling. So this work the opposite of the compressor. The compressor is really awesome. This one is taking the low peak going up. It's kind of like compressor but the other way around. It's more natural because it's not reducing the big one. It's the lower one putting it up. A little bit. So if I put bypass to this. See the different. So this is bringing alive a little bit of the lower peak. And the Q, right here, gain the 16. A little bit gain the 16 here. Uh, nothing here, and then the low cut, cutting the low. Because this is not a solo guitar, so I don't need, I, ha I had the bass. That's it in the guitar. The bass, let's check out the bass. I remember if you are live, leave me some comments so I know you're here. Okay, this is the bass. A lot of compression. See? Almost 8 in the ratio. Threshold. I have it in 24 because I want like 6, 5 dB gain reduction. I remember the gain. Hey, what's up, Illinois? Nice to see you. Hi. This is a long friend. From a lot of years, Illinois is here. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to finish one song for this year because I was behind. <laughs> yeah. I'm back again. Trying to do some work here. Yeah. Happy holiday to you too. So see, the bass is something good. Attack and release, I leave it in the meter. This is reason I use the frog rack extension for, you can find that in the rack. I love this rack. <laughs> and I recorded the bass with this Siberius. There you go. Oh, what happened? There you go. So my amp is damaged, so I was recording direct. So this is proving that you can record direct directly to my sound card, my Scarlett, uh, with this amp. So let's put it again. There you go, I turned it off by accident, but now it's on. Yeah, baby. That sound good. And the drums sound good because it's a DT drum. And I was not doing much. The drum, you have here a compressor. 
Gonna start in a moment. Let's put it in. So I have the snare. I'm waiting because the computer is processing, you know, our life, and the computer is fighting with this. So the snare, I am reducing four, five, not four. With this two knob, you move it until you see those. This is a very nice compressor, uh, the L to A. <clears throat> very easy to understand, it's only two knob. So you just move it until you see the reduction. Because this compression have everything built in in the inside so when you move this tune up it's doing the release the attack the threshold and the uh, ratio all for you so i love this one and it's easy to use so that's the snare see if i take it out it's less there you go see eq in the snare little bit of the high nothing crazy and this is the compression for the kick and you see, I'm using now the compression here from the studio one here the reduction this is proof that when, once you learn one compression you can then use start messing around with other compression and check it out here this is the makeup I'm making up 5 dB because I'm losing, so remember, make up. Okay, let's move, let's moving on. Let's beginning. I have an electric drum here, like electric loop. Again, nothing crazy, and I'm using this compression again. It's a little bit only. This view is very low, it's a, an, another percussion loop. So I don't need much because it's just to keep some flavor. Let's go to the keys. Again, I'm using the LA2A and almost nothing. But again, so we can have one. Beautiful, see? With this, you don't want to be crazy because you can damage the sound. It's sounding good, so you don't need much. String. Let's see what I put in the dreams, uh, streams, cutting the low in the EQ. This was high, so I was cutting that up. Pad. Oh, I like the pad. It's complementing the string. <laughs> I even have a trumpet. The trumpet is doing the melody. I have to remember it's here, so let me raise it up. But the trumpet is only reinforcing the vocal, playing the melody, so I don't need that to be loud. And that's it. Finally, we have the electric guitar, so let me back it up. up on the electric guitar there you go that's the electric guitar but I don't want the electric guitar louder because this is more like a pop so it's not rock like strong I want more the acoustic guitar see the acoustic guitar but the electric guitar is gonna be there like a texture
So it's what all depends what is your vision. See the trumpet in the back behind? So it depends what is your vision of the song and then and all other situation you want the electric guitar louder. In this case, I don't want that. So, uh, yeah, awesome. Let's now bring the vocal. Uh, in this case, I only have one vocal and I usually do a lot of voices, but in this one, I want simple. So this is another example that sometimes you only need one voice and this is it. Let's bring it up. It's this one. This main. So now this is the vocal. This is what we have. The Q I'm rising up here in the 3, 6, 12. Lowering in the 300. A little bump here in the 120, cutting low here in the 50, 80s. But this is the magic, the compression. Again, if I take the compressor up, and this is why you start finding like, I don't hear the voice, then you raise the voice, then the voice is way too loud. And you don't find the balance, it's the compression. You are free to fly. You are free to fly. If you need more, more gain. But you don't want it too loud. Make your choice to so this is what you want, the balance. To fly, you had dreamed to follow. This is what we have in the fact. We have make your choices right. Should the to delay and to reverse, and he will set you free. This is what I like there. Choose true. So I have a two delay spin reverse. And it's not too much. Be free. And then I have a river here by the RB7. Shoes through. Which is a bright room. And this is a epic arena. 
be free. A little bit in the middle, and this is all completely wet. You but then here I can control cry. those one with reason. And this is my go-to. Uh, what I like about this, uh, that I can save that, and then when I come in here, I put it on my insert, and I can drag it up. If I want this one here, I just have to drag it up, and then it's gonna start here the same. So I like to use this combination of Studio One with Reason. So now, from the beginning, everything should be on. Okay, here the performer is killing me. So I had to lower that to. Ah, okay, this is the mistake. I was mixing in 256 sample. When you're when you're recording, go low. When you're mixing, go as high as you can, or your computer is gonna choke. So this is what is making the computer like going crazy. So sorry for this live. So now I have to do the mastering. It's sounding good. Let's listen for last time to make sure. Say yes. I can delete, you know, and dis disengage the one that I'm not using. vocal is too loud in the uh, chorus. It's good in the verse, but it's too loud in the chorus. So now I have to do automation. I have to split the verse and split the chorus 
and lower the chorus uh, I can do a couple of uh, things. I can uh, open a new channel and then uh, put that chorus in the new channel, lower that, and then leave the channel for the verses where it is because it's good in the verses, but in the chorus it's way too loud for me. So then this is the way that I'm going to be fixing that. And Illinois said that the guitar is beautiful. Yeah, that was my friend. He did very nice guitar, two acoustic guitar and two electric guitar, even with the solo. So I didn't play guitar in this solo, in this song. <laughs> uh, he did a great job. So yeah, so this is it. So I'm just gonna do uh, the chorus, a new, a new channel, write that up, and then the verses gonna stay here. And that's it. I don't see any more need to do anything else. It's sounding good for me. So in the verses, the good here. I'm the true and love. Here I am, waiting for you. Will you come? I will embrace you. So I'm just gonna duplicate everything. <coughs> <clears throat> and then cutting what I don't need and then this one I'm gonna cut the chorus and that's it but that's gonna take some time but that that's how it is so yeah please smash the like subscribe share with your friend so I can keep doing this stuff because this is you know I'm doing this for free guys so <laughs> just sharing what I'm doing with you and see you next time hopefully you learn some stuff even though the life was uh, struggling but that's what it is thank you so much <laughs> thank you Illinois see you next time <laughs> let's put here the last for the song Bye guys, thank you so much, see you next time.